Hello again, this is Paul Abrahams from Learn Jazz Piano Online and this is part five of my series Easy Steps to Learn Jazz Piano. We began with just two notes, the five moving to the one, the dominant moving and resolving to its tonic. The five can move up a perfect fourth or down a perfect fifth. So an example might be the note G moving up to the C or down to the C. The five is the dominant, the G, and the C is the tonic. We then took these two notes and turned them into chords. The five, the dominant, is the dominant seventh chord, and the one can be either a major or minor. The next step was an important one. It was adding the two. So we then had two, five, one. The two chord is the minor seventh, the five is the dominant seventh, and the one is the tonic. The two, five, one sequence is the most important sequence in jazz, and you should start learning this sequence in different keys. Then I suggested ways of soloing through this sequence, and you can either use the parent scale, so in other words, if the two is D minor seven, the five is G seven, the one is the parent scale, so you could use the scale of C major. You could also use notes from the chord. But now we're going to look at ways of adding notes to the dominant seventh to add to the tension of this chord. And these notes are called either extensions or alterations. As you're going to find out, there are three extensions and four alterations. So I'm going to start with a dominant seventh chord. Let's take a G7, one, three, five, seven. Let's now play the Mixolydian mode of G. And to remind you, this is the same as a G major scale, but with that flattened seventh. And we'll number this scale from eight. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Because they are extended over and past the octave. Here again is our G7. One, three, five, seven. And these three extensions are not a part of the one, three, five, seven of the dominant seventh. So you can see that the notes left of the Mixolydian mode are nine, 11, and 13. We're now going to look at the four alterations and these derive from the extensions. The G7, take the nine, the first alteration is the flat nine. The second is the sharp nine, just two to go. And if we look at the 11 and sharpen it, the sharp 11 is the third alteration. And the 13 is here, the E. And if you flatten it, that is the fourth alteration. So the four alterations related to a G7 chord are flat nine, sharp nine, sharp 11, and flat 13. Let's do this one more time with another chord. Let's take F7. There's our F dominant seventh chord, the Mixolydian mode of F, here comes the seven, flatten it. The 
four notes of the F7 are F, A, C, E flat, and the three extensions are the notes that are in the mixolydian mode, but not in the chord. And once again, if we number this mixolydian mode from 8, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, the first extension that's not in the chord but is in the mode is the 9, the second is the 11, and the third is the 13. 9, 11, and 13. These are the three extensions that relate to the F7 chord. The four alterations come from these three extensions, taking the 9, flatten 9 is the first, sharp 9 is the second, we now look at the 11, here's the 11, sharpen it, that's the third, which is the sharp 11, take the last one, which is the 13, the D, and flatten it. So the four alterations relating to this F7 chord are the flat 9, the sharp 9, the sharp 11, and the flat 13. In this episode, I've introduced you to seven notes that are all related to the dominant 7th, and they can all spice up your solos by adding tension to the dominant 7th. These are three extensions and four alterations. The three extensions are 9, 11 and 13, and the four alterations are flat 9, sharp 9, sharp 11 and flat 13. In the next episode, I'll guide you through various ways of utilising these extensions and alterations to spice up your solos. If you'd like to subscribe to my full video course, the link is www.learnjazzpianoonline.com. See you next time.